Quality bungalows with two, three, or four bedrooms, or our story building, three or four to five bedrooms at very affordable prices with flexible payment plans at our Sanyang Sea View Estate, where you can enjoy the cool breeze with modern infrastructure such as the roads, covered drainage system, modern electrification with street lights, gated entrance with security posts, and social amenities such as gas station, shopping mall, medical clinic, park school, children daycare, and a lot more. Our dedicated team of professionals will keep the estate clean at all times, provide security and patrol team within the estate premises, install latest technologies such as CCTV, Wi-Fi, home network installation, sonar panel, and power backup system. Also, check out for our additional home facilities and interior design service, such as premium tiling, wall plaster, home landscape, fingerprint home lock, and a lot more. Visit our office at Senegambia Kololi Highway and get a free site visit tour or contact us on 4464-838. WhatsApp us on 3259-220. Or you can visit our Facebook page or Instagram on EJ Investments. EJ Investments, we are first in properties. When we touch down, but I broke down. Yangtel G Fiber, now you can enjoy super fast internet in gigabytes. G Fiber is affordable, stable, secured, and accessible to homes, businesses, and enterprises. With Gamtel G Fiber, the future is speed. Gamtel, creating a brighter future in communication. him that the last time he sent the money it was not enough to buy all the provisions oh sorry i forgot to tell him are you guys talking about money transfer to buy provisions yes, yes. but don't you know about baluo baluo what is baluo baluo is a service that your son can use to send provisions directly to you guys from the shop and you don't have to worry about the exchange rate. Tell me how Baluo works. It's very simple. Just log on to baluo.com and shop or download the app on your phone. You can shop on the website or using the app to buy online basic products for your family and friends. With Baluo, you decide what your money is spent on. Your money, your choice. Buy online products for your family and friends in the Gambia, Senegal, Nigeria or Mali. Baluo, better than sending money.
Hello and welcome to the brunch on Kerfatu Live. I am Lamin Cham welcoming you to another edition of our weekly current affairs. Ramadan Mubarak if you are a Muslim because this is our first edition in the month of Ramadan. I hope uh, people from Badibu and the Sars and the Jaws are already uh, fasting, I hope, because they are not never good to be a regular on fasting, that is. <laughs> now, this week we will go to Election House and ask all the frequently asked questions that you and others may be having during the last few uh, days or weeks, I can say, and they include the much talk about diaspora voting calendar. Well, there were supposedly purported ID rather voters' cards that were found in the streets. All this will be explained. Now, I have with me in the studio minority House Minority Leader, the Honorable Samba Jalo. He will also take us through to some of the proceedings we have in Parliament and also give his perception of the issues concerning elections 20. 21. But first, we will welcome and congratulate uh, Joseph Curry. Uh, he has been confirmed and sworn in uh, as Commissioner of IEC, and as well as um, he is now the Vice Chairman of the Commission. So he's number two, uh, the most uh, uh, important person, uh, the second most important person at the IEC. Joe, welcome and congratulations. Thank you. Um, Good. Honorable Samba Jalo, the house manager, welcome to Kerfatu. Have you ever been to the brunch? Ah, thank Maybe. you very much. This is my first time. Your first time. We yeah. hope you will be available regularly. And uh, anytime I'm invited. Very good. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's start with you uh, before we go to uh, Joe. This past session in the National Assembly um, has been, you've been very busy, both in the subcommittees and the plenary. Um, there were discussions on the bill of the election the election bill, which, which is pertinent to Joe's presence here, that's why I want to start with that. The election bill, um, can you, what, when, I, when we last checked, you were discussing whether it should be amended. For example, matters such as attestation, etc., should be left alone with the Alkalolu or the Sefolu. There were suggestions that Sefolu should be taken out, and even the Alkalolus are to uh, do it, they should have the backing or the support of five independent members of uh, the community. But then all those are, that is of course when it is amended. But the fundamental problem we need to realize is, do you have time to do these amendments before the actual elections? Uh, thank you very much, uh, Lamin. Uh, thank you very much, uh, viewers. Uh, well, we have the Election Amendment Act being tabled in Parliament last session, and then it has gone to the first reading and then the second reading. As we speak now, it is in the hands of the committee that is responsible of scrutinizing uh, the, the bill. As we know, when this parliament came in, we have changed our mode of uh, operandi when it comes to bills. You just only table a bill, it is discussed one day, it finishes. It must be referred to a relevant committee. That committee now will invite the entire AMA, the whole all stakeholders mm -hmm. to look at uh, to look at it. Mm -hmm. uh, as we speak now, it is uh, it is uh, with the committee of uh, local government mm -hmm. and then responsible of IEC. Mm -hmm. And then I think uh, they have started uh, scrutinizing it since mm -hmm. last week. Mm -hmm. uh, well, we are in a very critical situation. Uh, looking, we are now introducing this. Uh, uh, election Bill 2021, mm -hmm. and already we have an existing uh, act, election mm -hmm. act. Mm -hmm. That means that this one is repealing that one. Mm -hmm. And then in that, uh, in the election amendment of 2015, mm -hmm. uh, there is a, a clause that reads, mm -hmm. I cannot exactly call it the exact clause, but I know the provision is there, mm -hmm. that six months before election, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you cannot change any major changing the amount of electoral laws. Mm -hmm. And then if you looked at this one now, at mm -hmm. this stage, mm -hmm. it is just far past the first reading session is, uh, is closed. Okay. Now it have to, uh, uh, the committees have to do their job. Mm -hmm. Then we go for, Pleasure. for, for session again. Yeah. Do you think that in that case, you might have an extraordinary? Yes, I think, uh, 
That could have been the best option, mm. a certificate of urgency. Mm. Uh, that is uh, the president uh, who is responsible mm -hmm. of uh, signing for a, a certificate of urgency. Mm -hmm. It's up to the Ministry of Justice yes. and then the executive mm -hmm. to see how possible mm -hmm. they could have expedited. Mm -hmm. But if they want to leave it in the, uh, how to call, on the, the parliamentary the normal procedure, process. Yeah. Then it will be dangerously close it will to, be dangerous to, because to, to be in conflict then before with that. it will be uh, considered and approved, mm -hmm. we have already six months oh, oh. before the presidential election. Oh. And that uh, there is a little risk. Mm -hmm. It is, uh, I think, mm -hmm. if mm -hmm. the executive or the Ministry of Justice mm -hmm. should look at a way out, either mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. put it on an extraordinary session, mm -hmm. then Parliament looked at it. Mm -hmm. Treat it within a, within a time uh, within a one week time frame. It's possible. It's possible. Okay. What is the fundamental difference between the 2015 election law and this one? So that what what we may worry people that if this one doesn't come, we may have to stick with the 2015, which may have things that nobody likes at the moment. What are the fundamental? Well, differences? for me, I don't think, I don't see a major differences because. Uh, I can see, in fact, uh, when it comes to the presidential candidate, mm -hmm. the fee, mm -hmm. when this parliament, when this legislature came in, mm -hmm. we amended it. Mm -hmm. Then it was 500,000 for president, 50,000 for MPs. Mm -hmm. But uh, when this grammar, when this coalition government came yeah. in place, before mm -hmm. we go for parliamentary election, mm -hmm. it is amended so. from 10,000 mm -hmm. to uh, 5,000 as it was before. Okay. But I can see in the new bill mm -hmm. what was amended mm -hmm. in the 2015 election amendment act yeah. is brought back again. Which means now a candidate has to pay? 500,000 for a presidential candidate mm -hmm. and 50,000 for, 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 for MPs, uh, 50,000 for mayors, uh -huh. I think 25,000 no, 10, for 10,000 something so like that. So that's brought so back in this new one you are that discussing? That is brought back. In the new one you are discussing? In the new one we are discussing. Mm -hmm. okay. And then the issue of attestation. Mm -hmm. It's, it's the same thing. The same thing. It's yeah. the same thing. Mm -hmm. So uh, for me, mm -hmm. actually, I don't see a major, major, major Different. differences okay. between the election mm -hmm. amendment act mm -hmm. and 2021 mm -hmm. and the 20 uh, the 2015 one. Mm -hmm. If you looked at it, there is not much different. Mm -hmm. Well, then I can see this one also captured. Even the where parties can go for coalition, okay. which is not uh, actually captured in okay. the okay. yes. This one has gone a little bit detailed, okay. and then this one, for um, for my observation, mm -hmm. I think it was connected mm -hmm. to the new constitution mm -hmm. that couldn't uh, actually pass. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so that means uh, this new one was it was really conceived with the you know with the with, you know with the thinking that yes. uh, you know it it is it is it is more manageable with the 2020 constitution which didn't, didn't come to pass. Yeah. So do you think, from where it stays, the government will seek, will find the urgency to, 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 to expedite this process? Well, I think that will be difficult for me to, to comment the on. Executive uh, can uh, yeah, executive. That, that, that is the role of the executive. Mm. Yes, uh, but uh, what I know, mm. uh, for, 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 for parliament, yes. members of parliament who are representing the people, yes. If the, ex the executive took the decision mm -hmm. to expedite it, yes. we can always give them a support. All right, <laughs> let's go back. Um, we, we welcome Satmati Jao <laughs> uh, from the University of the Gambia, um, who also lectures political science, and he's a member of the Afrobarometer, the body that uh, conducts surveys. Um, you know, and, and, and we will have an opportunity to hear the report or results of their recent survey which you must have read in the newspapers or mm -hmm. other forums, which suggested that governments, among other things, are not receptive to this COVID-19 uh, vaccine. That's another issue. But then, say, join us. You found us um, talking about the election bill. Uh, the Honorable uh, Minority Leader of the National Assembly has been talking about how uh, there is an audience for them either to come, uh, you know, for an extraordinary Congress uh, to so pass uh, uh, extraordinary session in the National Assembly to pass the bill. Otherwise, there is not much time because Article 15 in the 2015 Election Act says you cannot do any major change six months before the elections. And he believed that it, unless something is done now, their next session will be in July, then that will 
be in yes. conflict in conflict with yeah. you know 2015 act so that means you cannot be able to do anything mm -hmm. he thinks that the only way out is the government should come with an emergency uh, you know expedite the process by calling them for them to come for an extraordinary session but then he said also he didn't see much changes um, you know between the 2015 law and the one that's been discussed so whether the government will find any need at all to expedite that or not but then what was being discussed at the at the, at the committee level was that uh, the issue of attestation should not be left in the hands of the Alkalulu and the Sefolu alone. There should be uh, elders from the, you know the communities who should help the Alkalulu to identify who is uh, who is that. That can be key. Okay? If that can be changed at least, because that, that if you're going to be you know an elephant in the room among between the opposition and the uh, and the national uh, and the government sympathizers in the national assembly. Oh, well, you see... The opposition said the al can be under the influence of the yes, ruling party. Uh, but, then, uh, mm. but if you looked at it, yeah. we are registering Gambians. Mm -hmm. If you put, if you restrict it only to ID card, mm -hmm. birth certificate yes. and a passport, yes. you, will, you, you will have many you will Gambians dis disfranchise any, many that, are, that will not be registered. Because and, they and, are Gambian, they don't have access. Yeah. You, I'm a, I'm a how to call ID card is very expensive. Yeah, and, and, and not everybody. And department. then, okay, the, the, the immigration department is not in the position of being in every corner of the, of the country mm -hmm. to make sure the citizen got their ID card. Mm -hmm. So if you restrict it only to those things, you exclude the Alcalo at the desert. No, they, 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 they are, they, not everybody acknowledge and appreciate it, but they yeah. said the Alcalo can be there, but mm -hmm. it shouldn't be left in the hands of only the Alcalo. Yes. Some elders in the village who might be who, who, who five. Could, could elected by the people. Five elders. Yes, five elders. Yes. And then again, political parties also have their own representatives there. Yes. It's not that only uh, the Alcalo and five elders will attest. Yes. Political parties are yes. making their own people mm. sitting there. Yeah, but and, then, and, and, and what powers do they have to object to the Alcalo's attestation? They will have, uh, if somebody is, uh, if, if uh, like somebody, if, if I should represent my political party yes. in, in, uh, in, in Yemen, mm -hmm. where elders mm -hmm. attested a foreign, mm -hmm. I would reject it. But then what powers can it change? What, change, what can, can it change? Can it stop the Alcalo uh, registration officer from registering that person? Well, that one is not is not being detailed, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, I can I, I can challenge it at court. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Revising, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. But then, what about if the if there are actually are five villagers who has almost the same supervisory oversight powers, just as the Alcalo, who can object and overrule the Alcalo and say, look, no, we all know the, this village. This man is from Guinea and shouldn't be given to. I think yeah, this is this this is why after the after after the how to call after the elect um, uh, uh, the registration is then done. You have to revise in court. Okay. Any objection you have there, you you, you go to the revising court. Uh, so, no, no, uh, 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 no, let me just uh, buttress on this five other issue and things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, I think like um, up to 2014, mm -hmm. you know, this law had been there, and it used to give us problems mm -hmm. because you see, you see five elders. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So it does not give you the specific five numbers. It is five elders. It could be three, five elders. Because what have you used to obtain is like one five only a group of five elders will go and sit at a corner attesting to people. And then you have another group attesting to the people. Because the law is saying that five elders. So it does not specifically say who the five elders are. And then some the problems also we used to have is how can somebody I mean, how can somebody who who is I mean, uh, uh, like somebody is old enough to be your grandfather, and then you attest for that person. <laughs> and these are some of the issues that we use. So that is why we said we fought, and then in 2015 it was amended. You understand? So it was just left to because we cannot do away with attestation. So it was just left with the alcalo and the chief, and the chief. because these are traditional rulers, and we have we have to get I mean have trust. In, the, uh, in, in them. And then not only that, what we have done is, we don't want the, also the Alcalos, at the level of the IEC, we don't really want the Alcalos to write attestation on a, even as KT cement. Mm -hmm. So what we've done is, we have what? Since 2016, what we have done, we have devised, 2011, we have devised what? A form. Mm -hmm. 
So if you come, apart from the claim on form that you're going to be given mm -hmm. as, a, uh, as an applicant, mm -hmm. you're going to, if you don't have any of any... Uh, you know, if, you, if you are an attestated yes. applicant, you have a form. Yes, yeah, you have a form, attestation form, which you pick from the registration center, mm -hmm. then take it to the Alcalo or the chief, mm -hmm. and then, you know, it's organized. Mm -hmm. Because the way we do registration, if you do, because it is serialized, mm -hmm. so it can be traced. Mm -hmm. It can be three. So because if it's not serialized, like like this one, this is as a ISSN. So you could, you understand. So it's serialized. So it is that serial number because the machine is such that the the computers are programmed in such a way that if any document does not have a serial number, it will not enter. Yes. So that is why we serialize it because the birth certificates have serial numbers, the ID cards have serial numbers, the passports have serial numbers. So that's why they are serialized. The attestations are serialized. They are not left like that. So that's that. So that was the problem we used to have. Mm -hmm. In fact, said was there when we were doing the last. In fact, all the political parties accepted until the last validation, mm -hmm. the 23rd and 24th of September mm -hmm. at the ICC, mm -hmm. when they said no, because of we're going to disenfranchise mm -hmm. people, so we'll put it in. Mm -hmm. So that's how the issue of because all the in all the consultations. Mm -hmm. It was held that we will remove it. But when we came 23rd, 24th, the, the, the final validation for the production of this, yeah. then the political parties, except yeah. one or two, yeah. said, let's, let's, return, let's, let's put it back. So and we put it back. This question of five elders, yeah. it was amended in 2015. It's no longer in the laws. Oh, it's, it's no longer in the laws. It's, no. it's, it's removed. It's deleted. So, so if you can see, if you see, we have already gazetted, like if you look at, because section 14 of the Elections Act says that we, we, we pronounce the, 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 the period of registration. So if it's a general voter registration, it has to be 30 days before the registration. But we, we did that long long time ago. And then section 16 of the Elections Act talks about gazetting, which we are doing, and then we have to do the announcement in, in at least, uh, in at least five issues of a, of, of a, of a newspaper. Mm. So we've done that. Mm. I think the paper we gave five mm. is for you, yeah? mm. and then your paper we give, we've given you, and then it's on our website. Mm. We've published it. That's the notice. Mm. So if you look at the notice, mm. the five elders, it's not there. It's not there. Yeah. The problem we had, like, when it was amended, you know, in 2012, like, maybe it was not sort of taken care of in the schedule, yeah. you know, like schedules, mm -hmm. because that's it. So that's why I said, you know, people have to read the correctedness of the law. So once you, 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 you repeat one or you, you sort of amend one, mm -hmm. you have to look at, you know, where it affects, you know, in future, so that you will not have problems. But we did that in 2016, we used that notice, and that's the notice that we're using. You know, the five elders is not there, so it's already gazetted, so it's law. Huh? So, so the four documents, you know, they already gazetted, you know, the notice is, is, is out. Yes. The attestation for the Alca from the Alcalo and the chief. Yes. I mean, the trouble that people had is... So, yeah, that was why. No, in fact, that I was why. have a, a problem yeah. Yeah. with the chief attesting yeah. and the Alcalo. Yeah. I don't have a problem with that. My only problem is to limit it mm. only on production of a birth certificate, mm -hmm. passport, and a valid ID card. Uh, yeah, they, no, but everybody knew that that cannot be. You will leave, you will leave out some people who doesn't have any, yeah, any yeah. of those. Because the, the, the other argument is, the other, uh, the, uh, the other argument was, mm -hmm. like, if people can go to the Alcalo mm -hmm. to give them attestation for them to get uh, ID, ID card or birth certificate, yes. so why not use it to get a voter's card? That was, one, that was another angle of yeah. agreement. Yeah. So if an attestation could be given to somebody to gain, um, to get a birth certificate yeah. or to get <laughs> an ID card. More or less the same. So to get an ID card, why not you know use the same attestation to get a voter's card? That was another argument from another angle. Mm. That was yes. what uh, some of the arguments that the political party represented is yeah, then because you know, proof that. Because yeah. ID card can guarantee a voter's card. Yeah, yeah. So, well, the, the issue is that nobody is saying that the Sefolu and the and El Kalolu cannot be trusted. The problem is they often come under the influence of the ruling party. Mm -hmm. And the ruling party can manipulate the system by, you know, influencing the al to register people who might not be citizens because they know they're going to vote for them, like it used to happen under the Jawara and the Jammer no, 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 no. no, no, no. I just want to come there. Because the thing is, you can help me. You can help me to get a, a, a voter's card or an ID card. Mm. But it's between me and God, because this is sick, the, the secret ballot. So you are not sure whether I'm going to vote for you. Yeah, I'm just giving an example. So people make assumptions. Yeah, people people make assumptions. But what I'm trying to say is, 
we all of us have to be very careful yeah. and make sure that I mean we do the right thing. The public officials. Yes, we do the right thing right. rightly. Yeah. You understand? Of course, like so people. once we work with our conscience, mm -hmm. you know, knowing that like whatever you do, whatever you do, even if it's you alone, yeah. but you know that God is watching you. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be accountable yes, one day. Because, yes, yeah. it's not only well, the reason we always cry foul, but and I'll tell you, oh, well, the ruling part was Hapa Jalos, Hapa Jalos NRP might think that this Al will definitely register people who vote for me, and he might register others who will vote for the UDP. <laughs> That's what's the point. I think in so it's actually Al Kalo to uh, and the CFO, but the CFO, there's a problem there, because the problem is how can a CFO mm -hmm. of, for example, Shubhadai? The commonwealth is in Sukhada. Mm. Commonwealth has seven, ten yes. villages. Mm. How can he attest that some, like somebody is from Tujere when he doesn't even know the whole area in Sukhada? In fact, that's I a problem. I wanted to come there. You yes. see, mm. when it comes to the citizenship, mm. Alcalo mm. cannot exactly like the, the, the Dankunku Alcalo mm. cannot know exactly who is born in Gisali. Yes. Maybe some corners of them. Yes. That 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 that, mm -hmm. that 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 my that my issue with the chief, mm -hmm. the alcalo can actually know yeah. who are born mm -hmm. in every village. Yes. But then the chefo, mm -hmm. who is the district chief, mm -hmm. like me as the national assembly member, mm -hmm. I cannot know yes. every person no. who is born in my village or who is not born in my constituency so in the villages. So, so this was why the, the five elders yes. were very important because mm -hmm. they yeah. they live within the, village. the community. The community yeah. Yeah, so that's where the trouble. But I hope when your committee came come out with the report, there will be recommended enough as 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 Mr. Connie has said that a lot of water has already passed on the bridge, uh, and this uh, this five elder thing is not there. Well, well since before, before, uh, I don't know. I can't remember because the bill found me in Parliament. Yeah. They propose it. Yes. But I believe Parliament mm -hmm. did not accept did not that one. Propose what? The Finish amendment, amendment, 2015 amendment, like the to delete the five alcalos. No, it's there. It was deleted. It's it was deleted. deleted. It was it's amended. Deleted. Yeah, okay. 2015 is deleted. Well, it was said, 2016. Before we come to further uh, things dealing with, you know, IEC matters in election, do you have any comments on those ones? Yeah, yeah I think um, um, I, I just want to thank um, Honorable Minority Leader and mm -hmm. Vice Chair, mm -hmm. uh, because I think some of the issues that they're talking about were exactly things that we were also discussing during the consultation. Mm -hmm. And for us civil society, especially with the issue of attestation, mm -hmm. our position was to do away with it because we know um, in the past, even if it was not real, these were assumptions that people have that the way that people could rig the elections or cheat was through these registration processes. Mm. So we felt that the attestation might create more problems. And then IC was talking about those things before that mm. this was giving them a lot of a um, lot of issues. But of course, we realized that, um, and then we agree that not everybody in this country have these national ID cards, and there are a lot of. And, and when he was talking about that, the immigration cannot go everywhere. That's why we are saying that you know moving forward you know after this election perhaps there is a need for us to decentralize national documents so that people in far um side of this country can access can that so um and in terms of the attestation i think right now you know the the good thing what can serve as a as a check to that is the fact that after the registration i think IC will be posting you know, publishing you know, yeah. publishing the the, the yeah. voter list mm -hmm. and then people will have that opportunity to check who is there who's not there and then we'll challenge that maybe in court as he court. as he stated mm -hmm. so at least that we'll check for against these assumptions of people or, or underage of you know non gambians non registering and, and, and that but at this at the end of the day it is us that should make our electoral process transparent accountable and clean and every one of us has responsibility um, to do that good let's go to the biggest elephant in the room Joe <laughs> diaspora vote um honorable let me for, let me first ask you what's your sincere position on that um, many people believe that government and those close to government sympathizers actually don't wish their diaspora uh, to register to be registered because they they're not likely to support them in a large majority <laughs> Uh, what, what is your thinking? Well, your I, have a, I have a I have a different view mm -hmm. for for certain reason. Mm -hmm. uh, the diaspora, mm -hmm. economically, they contribute immensely mm -hmm. to this country. Mm -hmm. Even the last change that happened mm -hmm. could not have been done in the absence of the diaspora. And these are citizens of this country. 
they have the right to participate in every decision making in this country. For me, if that is the position of uh, any executive member, that's uh, for me, uh, I'm not thinking in, in that way. Mm -hmm. What I believe, they are citizens, they should give him the right to participate in our election. So, but the devolution, the devolution, the details. How do we get at the now? Yes, I'm not part of the uh, committee, mm -hmm. but being a leader in in parliament, mm -hmm. when certain things are happening, even though I'm not there, I would find a way how to get information mm -hmm. because it's through those information. Yeah, you are minority leader. leader. You're supposed to. I can act. Yes. When uh, when they have the when they receive the IEC, was it day before yesterday? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then, I got the, then I got the information that there is somebody just was to my office sweating. Mm -hmm. And then what's up with it? Say, oh, the diaspora is not voting. I tell him, no, what, what, what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. He told me that, okay, according to section 38 and section 39, 39. Uh, section 88 and section 39, 39. Mm -hmm. the constitution must be amended because section 39, section 88 talked about the composition mm -hmm. of the National Assembly that top of uh, 53 elected members and five nominated members. That section is there. Section 39, top registration, you must register under a constituency. In the National Assembly constituency. Yes. So the diaspora, as we speak, they are not, uh, they are, they, they are not identified as a, as a constituency. So if they are to be registered, they must be registered to a on that constituency, which is actually very sad. Mm -hmm. As I alluded earlier on, they contribute immensely. We all not understand the remittances that come from the, from, uh, from the diaspora just to support, you know, our own country. So when it comes to how to call election, I think they are very crucial and they are important. And then they should be given all the ways to participate in selecting our leader and then participate in the election. Uh, but the, the situation now is a, a little bit critical uh, knowing, in knowing the amending the 1997 constitution. Hadn't been that it is a, a just an ordinary act. Uh, you, can, you, 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 you can, I think, put it under a certificate of urgency. Um, urgency. Uh, but in this case, section 226 of the 1997 constitution is very clear when it comes to amendment. There is a procedure that you should follow. That is, you gazette it and put it in the in the in the newspaper for three consecutive months and ten days. That is one hundred days. If you minus one hundred days now from our electoral calendar, almost we are falling back on on the election amendment act. If this one did not pass, that one will be will will be the electoral the existing law. Okay. We talk about, you know, uh, we cannot amend mm -hmm. any, any, any major six amendment months many, before. Yeah, six months before election. Mm -hmm. So, so that, that's the way I'm, I'm uh, that is the risk now mm -hmm. we are facing with the diaspora. Okay. If it was not a constitutional amendment, mm -hmm. it could have been a little bit easy. Mm -hmm. But in this case now, mm -hmm. we must amend the 1997 constitution mm -hmm. to incorporate the diaspora as a constituency mm -hmm. and then increase the, uh, the composition of the National Assembly mm -hmm. uh, from two, two provisions mm -hmm. to three, to include the diaspora as a part here. Mm -hmm. So this, I think this is my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he, he, like you he said, you went to answer to uh, uh, you know, the National Assembly Committee responsible for IEC and other things, and we were told that, uh, <laughs> I mean, it, everybody was shocked when uh, the realization actually hit them that actually we are in a big, big, big problem uh, considering uh, concerning the uh, issue of, uh, I mean, diaspora election. What is the true situation? Well, well he, he said it all because when they ask us, first they ask us whether we want to um, conduct the voter registration. Mm -hmm. hmm? Not only, not even the bill, the voter registration according to this bill or the existing Elections Act. Now we told them all the laws. For us, this one is non-existent. It's no, it's no, it's no longer, it's not, it's not in the law. So we cannot base our programs on a non-existent law. Okay. So we told them we're gonna um, 
conduct it based on the Elections Act. Then that was when they asked us, because here it has a section on diaspora and all that. But we told them, yeah, the bill, yes. No, the bill. That's the bill. So we told them, look, there is a Supreme Court ruling. And in fact, you know, it, it has ever been there. So it's, it's seemingly they have reaffirmed it. Huh? That's a section 39. Mm -hmm. That the Gambians are brought, that every Gambian is entitled. Whether they are, and then they are entitled also to vote. Mm, in the different ele um, yeah. elections. Okay. Now, we say them is there. But there is a catch, as he said. There is a catch. Mm -hmm. Because 39, he say even if, y yes, you are entitled to vote, but you have to vote in a and national assembly position. Mm -hmm. And then, like, it's, it's what? It's closed because in 2015, if you can remember, we used to have 48. Mm -hmm. And then it was, the, because of the three added, so it was amended. You remember in 2015. Yeah, it so it was the only constitutional amendment among the the electoral laws that was amended to cater for 53. We told them that there, there is. And then they said, but why did they? I said, look, when we, when we released our calendar, the, our registration should have been known. Had it not been this uh, problem we had with GPV, mm -hmm. we would have finished the registration and then they would have been registered in July. Because it was all factored in, so that at least it would give us time. Because we had, you know, we, we knew all these I things. Your calendar had it. It had it in July. First of July too, you remember. So, so we would have finished in, in February, mm -hmm. and then we would have been, in fact, if we hadn't been, been I mean, taken aback with all these things, you know, because all these things were on the pipeline to work on these things. And then we wouldn't have had a problem about this six months thing. But for me, there is still, there is still, I mean, light. Mm -hmm. There is still, there is still, there is still, because, be yeah, because what he's saying, mm -hmm. what he's saying, because we are, we are not, because when they ask us, because when I looked at their calendar, I think their consultations will be, I think they will, they will finish around June 3rd or something like that. Who's consulting? Yes. You know, they're going out again. Because if you look at their program, I have it, their Who program. Who are going out again? That's the committee. The committee. The committee. Consul, yeah, the consul, yeah, because we are going, because that's why I don't want to say much. Okay. Because we will give them our views on the 21st. 21st. So that's why I'm not going to talk about okay. a lot of these things. Because, yeah. So even today I'll be on GRTS, but I said I'm, I will come here just to, uh, but I will just give you, you know, some, but the opinion, the position of the IEC, mm -hmm. it will be given to the National Assembly on the 21st. But some of the hints okay? the But some of the, because you see, if you look at section 3 here, yes. uh, mm -hmm. so we, in fact, we highlighted that, because section 3 is talking of, uh, no, in the interpretation, mm -hmm. application, you know, like, uh, we are looking at, like, if, mm -hmm. Now, it's telling you, as from the coming into force of this act, mm -hmm. the existing register of voters shall cease to be valid. Yes. And all eligible persons shall apply, yeah. you know, to be registered in accordance with the provisions of this act. We've also tell, told them there and there that this provision, because by the time this one comes into being, we would have started registration. Okay. So does it mean that we are going to stop the registration and then we do a registration? You see, if you look at the interpretation. Yeah, yeah. So, and then, you know, there are other things, other areas that we're going to do. But, as I said, mm -hmm. if this certificate of uh, urgency is done, mm -hmm. and then I'm trying to tell you, if that, the provision in what, mm -hmm. I know what he's saying, the provision in the 2015 amendment act, yeah. like six months you cannot do anything. Mm -hmm. If it's, if this one is passed earlier yeah. to repeal that, yeah. I think we can, we can make headway. Okay. Because already, as I said, already, mm -hmm. me, I'm not telling you. Because the thing is, he was at the, he's at the National Assembly. Mm -hmm. He has, he, if in our budget, the submitted, we put diaspora voting and the, diaspora registration and diaspora voting. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, it was approved. So now? It was approved. So, from now on, you know, it was approved. So, from the onset, mm -hmm. and I and Chairman and four others mm -hmm. went to Kivar mm -hmm. in 2019. Yeah. We did an understudy there, on, because Kevart is very, very versatile. They, they know this, I mean. And then chairman has been going in and out of Senegal, and our, some of our teams, director of operations, learning this diaspora registration and voting. Presently, as I am, as I am talking, four of our staff are on exchange visit with the Mal uh, Electoral Commission of Mali in Kevart, because Kevart has national assembly elections tomorrow. Wow. Even the chief electoral officer is there as an election observer. Wow. So I'm telling you, we have taken all the steps mm. to make sure that we technically equip our people mm. to undergo these things. So, but so once, mm -hmm. no, I'm just telling you, yeah. but I, we always say that we are not lawmakers. Yes. 
Huh? Yeah. We will always propose. We will always propose. Yeah. So now, all, there is no time for apportioning blame. Let us all work together and then make sure that this, comes, this becomes a reality. So by expediting the changes of the law so that all of us can, we can, we can extend the franchise to them so that they will be able. Because once this is done, because I can tell you, we have not, we are not sleeping. Our database, we have what? We have prepared to capture diaspora. Okay. I'm telling you. Yeah. And what we have even proposed is to have four constituents, not even one. To have four. America, Asia, Africa, Africa. Uh, uh, and Europe. And, Europe. Mm? and then we've gone, we've gone, we're working, and then we're working, uh, and then we've gotten some certain statistics as to where Gambians are. Because what we're saying is we cannot go everywhere. Not even in but we, Yes, we cannot go everywhere. What do we want? So we have gone, this, we've, we've, we have some of these statistics. So that, and then, um, we're going to make sure that at least like, we know, according to public international law, our embassies and consulates, they are Gambian territory. Yeah, so we can use that, those ones. Yeah. Now, other areas that we cannot access, we have to use diplomacy, diplomacy. to get access to some of, to get permission to use some of those areas. You understand? Yeah, to hire facility, like the CRC did. Yeah. Because we are in, we, we've been in consultation with them, because they went, they knew how these things. So we invited their logistics officer, mm -hmm. you know, once or twice mm -hmm. to, to shed light on those, some of these things, how to access some of these halls and some of these places. So a lot of work has been, done. you know, done. So, so it's just a question of now, um, yes, all of us coming together yes. to see the urgency, you know, in this matter, and then we work. Tetango, he is like a minority like leader, so I and, he's, and I'm very happy that he, even if he's, even though he's not in that committee, yeah. you know, he's looking for information yeah. as to make sure that the work goes. Well, I mean, well. yeah, so I'm very, very much impressed. What I understand is there is still a way out, um, you know you know, for the diaspora to be included in the registration. But who do you blame? He, well, they are not in the business of, of, of blaming. He said, let's work together and forget to blame again. <laughs> but then, it must be clear that the IC had always been prepared and ready. So it looks like the old Dili Dallans were on the side of the executive. They, they knew that this thing has been captured by the IEC. They knew that the uh, diaspora should be I um, mean, registered. Mm -hmm. But the legislations, they know the legislation, the relevant legislation that should be done has still not been done up to now when we are now dangerously close, uh, you know, to, 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 to be in a conflict with the, with, with the 20, 2015. So if you are to blame, who are to blame for putting us in this situation? I mean, you know, I, I usually don't like blaming. You have to blame people. <laughs> but I mean, blaming would have solved my problem. Not blaming, we, we, we. but to state where, where, what caused the delay. I was in the first living um, consultation, yeah. you know, I, I, I even wrote something but I did not publish it and we raised the issue of diaspora voting and sometimes, you know, when you're with the political parties and you civil society, you're doing your advocacy and all that, they'll say, you'll think that you are wasting their time sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, I, I, I think sometimes we did not factor uh, these things and then also at some point we were thinking of also a new constitution, mm -hmm. you know, that will have, so have because even this so bill, blame yeah, even this yeah. bill was still along yeah. that new constitution and then we had to come back to review it oh. in line with the 1997 constitution. So, so you cannot blame anybody yeah. here. So, so you cannot blame anybody. The defeat of the constitution in Nagasaki. I keep saying that that is our biggest challenge That's so far but then since we have opportunities now instead yeah. of blaming and saying of course we are here the best issue is to look at what is the solution what is the easiest thing mm -hmm. to do mm -hmm. and if we can have certificate of urgency things that can fast track mm -hmm. the work of the the parliamentarians and they can do that but i was also thinking perhaps is it um in this six months do we kind of domesticate it to say that in gambia we cannot change anything uh, before the six months because in the international system uh, with ECOWAS, if all political parties agree, I think there's a possibility yeah, yes. that we can, yes, we can, yes, we yes, can yeah, have that. Yeah. Yeah. Especially for the it's constitution. There, it's there. Yeah, it's, it's there. there. It's there. It's there. It's there. It's there. It's there. So let's have a look. So let's have a look. The doors are not closed. Yes. Because let me come. If it was, if the law was not domesticated, now the law is existing. It's existing. The ECOWAS protocol cannot override our law, our 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 local laws. Mm. Yes, there is an existing law. Mm -hmm. That is the 2015 Ellison Amendment. Yes. Mm -hmm. Despite the Equals Protocol spelling, I'm spelling it out. Mm -hmm. You cannot only deal with the Equals Protocol mm -hmm. and left our own law. Mm -hmm. No, our own law mm -hmm. 
this one won't be, must be passed because the moment this one is passed, then they'll be passed through at the moment an urgency of certification. Only to do an urgency, the National Assembly should yeah. deal with it yeah. within this short time, with it this time, yeah. and then don't with it. You but if you want to you allow it to yeah. go, yeah. all the processes yeah, huh, be for bill to pass at the assembly, yeah. I doubt we'll have a little problem in the near future. Yeah, even that's why I couldn't even, I mean, I, I know what the committee is trying to do is what we expected mm -hmm. them to do in terms of the consultations and all those things. But then if the consultations are going to be longer, mm -hmm. and I people generally agree, because the most contentious issue here before was the paper ballot. Mm -hmm. And now the paper ballot is, is removed. I don't removed. think many things here are contentious. People still want the counting on the spot. Mm -hmm. I mean, all everything. Yeah, like, everything, yeah, even without this bill, I think our elections can go and, you know, and all that. But when we want to expand it, we want to ensure that it is institutional institutionalized like for instance there are key elements that are very critical the the chief electoral officer you know position ensuring that you know it is it is it is fixed yeah. and you know, I, I, maybe uh, the vice chair can elaborate more on those things but the contentious issues around the election bill are not there, not there. you know and i think that's why i said i mean the, the consultation and there have been series of consultations yes. and the other thing is the other thing is uh, another one you're talking of this other amendment in 2012 mm. 2015 mm -hmm. This is, is an amendment, it's an, uh, it's an act. Yeah, that's what so I'm saying. So you can just remove it. You yeah, can, you can, that's you what I'm can, saying. You can, you can, you can, can't you amend that one? Yeah, that one is easier to amend it. That one is an act. Yes. You can amend it, it's just a, um, in, in a very short time. Yeah, you amend that one. That one can be amended. And then you move on. Or if this one also pass, you know, if this one pass, it will repeal the existing yeah, one. Yes. Yeah. The clause is there. These two issues are there. But does this one provide make a provision for constituencies for that? You know, here, what they put here is, yeah. like, general, in fact, that one we, we fly in, that general registration should be held before six months. And we know that the general registration, the registration cannot be done, held six months. It's here, but we're going to remove, that one we've said that we're going to remove it. We're going to remove it. So the, most of these things we're going to remove. As he is saying, like, we can, if the constitution, like, we can, because as I'm telling you, the register, the register even this voter registration, it will not come into existence still maybe around September mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because of the, the because of the general registration will end in July. in July but there's going to be publication yes. for people to scrutinize whose name is missing so whose name is there so don't they feel that it's not Gambian and is registered so that they can get objection forms you know and the, all these forms yeah. then the revising court for 60 days mm. you understand so we're talking of July mm. we're talking of August we're talking of September so, so, that means so by 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 the like the beginning of any the beginning of October, they will have a full register. Oh. So, for instance, all the, like we are in April, mm -hmm. as I said, yeah. it's either to amend that six months thing, that six months thing, yeah. or to fast track this thing. Mm -hmm. So that at least we have what we have time. So we will not have any law, yeah. huh? even if the law is there. Yeah. The parliament and others can see a way yeah. to deal with the ECOWAS protocol. Mm -hmm because of the exigency and then the, 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 the importance of getting the diaspora, okay. then we can do. If like three months, like we say what, May, June, July. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, so they will take maybe the whole of August mm -hmm. to do the necessary section 88. Mm -hmm. In September, the whole of September, we can. We can, like we register mm -hmm. and then come and then October we just Back. blend it with okay. the, then we have the whole of November and then 4th of December we have our elections. Because as I said, we've already in the in the in, we've already put because in anticipation yeah. the deletions uh, transfers because it's no longer in the law, but we're hoping that like when it is changed, the transfers, mm -hmm. the um, the uh, replacements, replacements, everything. Now the, the system is such that if you transfer, yeah. we will know. You know, in the database, we will know that this is a transferred card. It's a deleted card. You understand? It is a replaced card. Yeah. You understand? So all these things are fucked up. Mm. So even the, because just uh, like, um, I was just like, just to make sure that, to tell people that uh, of the transparency and the like. Mm. So even the card, during the voter registration, mm. huh? yeah. uh, this brings me to, I know you're going to ask me about this blank card. Of course. So for me, you know, no, I'm just giving it. For me, I mean, those ones are just obsolete. Okay. You understand? Mm. Because like what we're going to do, we have a different card, yeah. it's a different card for this one, 1.5. Uh, we're going to because we 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 taking into consideration the the diaspora, mm -hmm. so that's why we're doing 1.5, mm -hmm. and then this registration mm -hmm. because maybe I don't know whether 
those who registered in 2016, yeah. they know that their numbering is different from 2011. 11, yeah. huh? mm -hmm. So the numbering is going to be different. Mm -hmm. The, hmm? the, the features and uh, it's going to be different. And this time, any day, the, any time we, we register, we will know the machine. Mm -hmm. Because we have 220 teams. So if machine one, team one, registers a team, and then the time that they register, we'll, we'll all be there. We'll all be there. We we'll all know. We'll, we'll, so just, this is just uh, checks and balances that we've put so that at least we add more value and more transparency to the process. Mm -hmm. As I'm talking to you, registration will begin on the 29th. Mm -hmm. But you go to our website, even the political parties, you ask them, we've given them the team movements. Mm -hmm. All the 220 teams, we have 730 registration centers. Mm -hmm. So everything has been what we've worked out, we know exactly where each team will be at time. Or what we are doing, why we are doing this, we want Gambians to really organize themselves. Because during the last registrations, we have what? We're having problems. For instance, Madame Adeline Ligui Brikama, Madame Banyo, Mogis Ne July 22nd also, Mugi Free. You understand? Mm -hmm. I go to Pagay Marseille, Mungi Free. Yeah. But I register. No, you can't do that. At the end of the day, you, you vote where you register. You where you register. So, that, so now we want to discourage all these things. Okay. That's why we went all round. Yeah. We used to have 636. Yeah. But now huh? seven. We have 7 730. Yeah. So it means that like, we have what? We have looked at certain areas that are far off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We've, and then some areas that are uh, 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 sort of very content. content. I give an example. Ibotan Mosque. The mm -hmm. whole of Ibotan had only two registration centers. Yeah. They have Ibo Ibotan Sanchabadas, Pagajola, mm -hmm. and they have the mosque. Mm -hmm. So the mosque had about eight to nine polling stations. Yeah. Now what we have done, because I'm in charge of KMC, yeah. I have decongested Ibotan Mosque. Mm -hmm. Now I'm go we are going to open one at Kusabia Mosque, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. just around the, 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 the Christian, Christian uh, cemetery. cemetery. Mm -hmm. And then the one for Pagajola, mm -hmm. I have opened extra two. One at Badala, mm -hmm. he bought one Badala, just around Jeeps, they Jeeps, know. Yeah. And then there used to be a, a big tree, a ditter, mm -hmm. uh, called yeah, yeah. The, uh, uh, Brown. Yeah. They call it big tree. Yeah, so I'm going to open there. Yeah. In fact, to make sure that the Joshua people don't come, mm -hmm. I'm going to open one at ABC. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a school just around, uh, behind this uh, New Joshua Cemetery. Exactly. And then I'm going to open at San Consilla. So, so that so that can, yeah, can so be like Joshua can so you see, uh, stay in Joshua. Yes, yeah, still, yeah. But you know, like we, what that is what we want to do. Mm. We want people to stay. Like we used to have problems with Latikuna yeah. Mos, Sabiji Mos. Mm. Because Latikuna Sabiji Mos is Latikuna Sabiji Mos. But it's in Fajikuna one. Yeah. So what we have done now, we've opened one just right opposite. Yeah. Just like Talinding Bantaba yeah. also. Yeah, exactly. Talinding Bantaba, you see Talinding North, Talinding South. Yeah. So <laughs> people will people who stay in North here, they just cross and yeah. go to, and go to the Bantaba and register. Yeah. But if you register there, it's another, yeah, another word. So what we have done is we've opened one on yes. this side, and, and the then even side. telling the, uh, the Badala, we've opened one here and opened one, and the teams will be there at the same time. Right. Mm -hmm. Just like Bovozun and Serkuna uh, uh, is mini stadium, right. so those teams will not move. They will be there the 44 days, okay. so that people will not cross. Exactly. So this is what mm -hmm. we do. What, what we what, that's you the think. strategy. So that because we used to have problems, so this is why. We have published these things, mm -hmm. team move, so that people know exactly. And the political when, parties should help you to, yes, to, to, to sensitize, to sensitize and see the CSOs people. and then everybody, yeah, yeah. because it's everybody's business. Yeah, exactly. So we want to make sure that we have a very, very credible register, right. so that we wouldn't have problems. Yeah. So people should stay, watch, and um, what you know when your team is coming. It's 44 days. Don't be in a haste. Yeah. Find so out. For find out where find exactly where, yes, should, you register. should you register. And you you can know that by knowing your ward, yes. your constituency, and you yeah. know, I mean. Yes. I think I think it's better they stay in their world. Yes. Even like uh, let me just give you even Bakau. You know Bakau is a bit Yeah. Mama is a bit Mama Koto. Mama Koto. You see, uh, people used to cross from Farokono yeah. and go to the stadium. Okay, to the new town. Now we have opened one there. In Farokono. So now. they will not move because once they cross it's in another world. It's yeah. another world. The stadium is in another world. Yeah. So because they are in old Bakau. So yeah, once they cross the street, mm. it's another row. Yeah. Said, so that's why we have what we went around. Yeah. It's not only KMC, the whole country, mm -hmm. and we've made sure that some mm -hmm. that are very far, mm -hmm. you know, that are very far, yeah. you know, are given so that they will not walk more than five five kilometers. Yeah, yeah because so in, the, in the past, what they do is, for example, you they they come from Mamakoto. Yes. They go and register at community center. Yes. Mm -hmm. They say, well, it's the same constituency. So the next day when they come, they come. They tell them, no, you. You register at community center, go and vote there. So as long as the same constituent, they don't bother. Yes. But now you want to domesticate in such a way yes. that you stay in your ward. Yes. Even before you go to community center, even before you go to community center, 
we have opened the old Bantaba. Ah, that's right. We've Bantaba. opened. Yeah. So you see, we've tried to open up. So that people will not walk. So yes, yeah, so people will not walk. Yeah. You see, Bakau, you know, like, it, it, you think it is small, but it's populated. Yeah. So that's why, like, you go to Momokoto and you go to Kashakali, you go to the cinema, people are plenty. So yeah. that's why we've given them. Even like those, so those people can go to Farokono, they can have, they can stay they can there. Have their own and home. then Bantaba. They can have the Mamakoto. Yes. So that's what but we the want. The station will be decongested yes. and yes. then uh, everyone will yes. have to go far. Yes. It's like like, Abuko, like, like, like Abuko. Abuko used to have only one mm -hmm. vet. Mm -hmm. Now what we've done is Abuko lower basic mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, for those yeah. people living. And then mm -hmm. behind Kamtel, mm -hmm. there's a health center. Mm -hmm. So all the other people, they used to cross to vet. Mm -hmm. Now they will not cross. Do you do that? That's, 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 as, as, as it happens in some night. other yeah? countries, yes. they give a specific, well it will be difficult, a specific number mm -hmm. for every polling station. For example, if Baka was 5,000 voters mm -hmm. and you have five polling stations, you said, we can register only 1,000 at each polling state. No, what we're going to do, no, it's the registration centers yes. that inform the polling that stations. The mm -hmm. Now, what mm -hmm. we're going to do, what we want to do is, yeah. we don't, we are, because the last time we said, why, well, during the last set of elections, mm -hmm. we're looking at um, not more than 800. Mm -hmm. But now what we're looking at, mm -hmm. because we say mm -hmm. huh? now we want to start, during the day yeah. and count during the day during so that day. nobody will say that nobody. they wow. so that's why we want we thinking of between five to six hundred for, 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 for the police station. station you understand so, that so that if you come, you have have if you come from eight yeah. to five you'll be able to you'll process able everybody to process. Okay. so you count at five yes and then everybody knows the results and then that's and then it that. because it's counting on the spot so you want to we want because if you give eight to nine hundred people yeah. may be there till eight till because late, once they are there before five they are to vote but we say we we reduce. That's why in our in our uh, in our projections, mm -hmm. the the budget that we sent mm -hmm. uh, is about two thousand polling stations. Yeah. You know, we now right now yeah, we have one thousand one forty four one four four one four two. Yeah. yeah. But now mm -hmm. we are projecting two thousand. Yeah. So that, so that you we can de yeah, the we polling can stations. just the polling stations. Oh, okay. So that at least work can you go say, on. Yeah. Yeah. And people because you, go, like, you used to go to certain places like Ibo Town, you are confused. Yeah. Even though we have um how to call it, we have um. Uh, uh, how to how do they call them um pulling assistance Assistant. trying to direct people yeah. but sometimes people come they don't even ask one feel a vote on so more than to have food and then line being a genuine and bokoro for food and then you make a demer you bring us problem yeah. so we don't want that so we'll just give what we'll mm -hmm. just give ranges mm -hmm. and normally we look at the because like if you want to look at the uh, the numerical, because the registers are produced in both, both. Um, uh, alpha uh, alphabet and numerical. numerical, yeah. So that's why this time around, you know, we used to also have problems yeah. because of like the spacing. We used to save yeah, spacing one and for A yeah, or B. Or yeah, A B. Yeah. yeah. So mm. that's why, like, we want to be so we decongest mm. and then we also for that the congest so that at least we'll have if you have 500 people in a police yeah, station they can they, 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 they can easily vote yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If, they, if they really talk yeah, 500 them, to six yeah so something can, like yeah, yeah. so we'll be able that's, to that's to a very organized very, yeah we want to organize it you know Absolutely. this time very well all right so that's why like uh we've been having i'm sure this month with this month's consultation because we give updates mm -hmm. at mm -hmm. every yeah. Yeah, consultation mm -hmm. yeah. as to uh what what is happening what we are doing and where we are finally yes go what led to cars that were supposed to be disposed mm -hmm. into the streets? Because, I mean, even no, though, even no, no, though, no, 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 now, if, if, if we are disposing and uh, people come and, and pick, you cannot, that's you, where no, 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 you see, now what we're doing, okay, yeah, yeah. all right, so that has happened, yeah, yeah, so no, that I, has happened, listen, that has happened, mm -hmm. uh, right, what we have, resorted doing mm -hmm. we've also told the boys now now instead of maybe burning or things like that we're going to bury them bury them now we are in consultation with the back of them side we're looking for a shovel mm -hmm. we will invite the media we'll invite the political parties we'll invite security so that they will know because we, there's nothing we are, we are not yeah. hiding anything because these are materials it's not only the blankets yeah. these are materials that we inherited from the first republic some of them all, right. sure. all but people all the things that we, we're going to we're going to discard mm -hmm. Marbles will not be part of it. No, we know that. Yeah. Because we have different. We have the black. We have the those ones. They will not be. No, but no, like no. the the attestations, the attestation forms, these ones. Because like we we producing one point five. No, so no. that's why yes. we're trying to make room for the others. Oh, Maybe yeah. the way and manner in which they were disposed, no, and no, then no. people because we are it, 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 uh, the election house is just in Kanifi. I have so people just because and the other thing that I want to say, Lamin, mm. look if we lose if we pick 
if we pick what? Because if you come to my office, there are a lot of lost voter scouts. Yes. Because I go to the Regambia, they give me. I go to the police, they give yeah, me. Yeah, the police bring it. I'm just giving. Yeah, but yeah. like if you if you see an ID card or you go to the immigration and the like. Yes. So if you pick those ones, yeah. purportedly you're saying that you 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 have you you pick them with somebody brought them to your house. Yeah. The words the, the person brought you to, brought it to your house, mm -hmm. you should have called our attention instead of you going to the media. As if you are reporting. Yeah, yeah, you don't go to the media. What they, what they did was, they, you know, there's this social media. No, the no, no, sometimes, sometimes they say, no. before going there, no, because you know, I'm just an example. I'm just, this is something exactly. that we can do. Yeah. It's not only for IEC, mm. because, you know, it can be for any other thing. Mm. Like, for instance, our, we have an open door policy. Mm. People come to us. In fact, somebody came yesterday and said, look, I learned that they say that they should sack you. I said, sack me for what? <laughs> because he said he learned it from social media. He said, sack, sack me for what? How I done? I said, what have I done? I'm just giving an example. I know. What have I done? So before you go there, we have an open door policy. Mm -hmm. Ask any media house who will call me, even at night. Mm -hmm. They'll call me and I will either, either reply or if I cannot come, I send them something. Mm -hmm. Look, we have an open door policy. You pick these things. Ask us. And those very people, I'll tell you, mm -hmm. those very people who live around vicin the vicinity, they knew exactly what was happening. Okay. Huh? Now, what, what, what was happening? Okay, what, now, what, now what I'm telling you, yeah. maybe mm -hmm. the mood mm -hmm. the, in which yeah. it was disposed. Yeah. Huh? Maybe it's unfortunate. Yeah. But what I'm trying to say, so we've, we've stopped everything. Okay. It's not only election house. Mm -hmm. Because we have materials all over. Yeah. And regional, then with regional. the help of UNDP, mm -hmm. with the uh, project document signed, yeah. they've refurbished four offices. Oh, yeah. Two have already been opened. Mm -hmm. And then two, oh, that's yeah, Base, Base and uh, Mansa Kong. You understand? Mm -hmm. So what, what we want is, we don't want most of these things to, 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 to go back. Mm -hmm. Because these, some of these documents from before the inception of IEC, mm -hmm. uh, from electoral office, then. then yeah, we did. Then yes, we, yes, need yes, those, yes, wooden, yes, yeah, I'm, I'm glad you said. Uh, yeah, so we will. People like. To, to yes. bring more, more transparency. Exactly. Oh, because this is what people want. People to like. To bring uh, more transparency. Exactly. We will invite the political yeah. parties yes. uh, through the IPC henceforth, henceforth yes. so that they will witness the disposal so that they know that we are not hiding anything that is the we want to allay, no we want to allay the fears of everybody <laughs> yeah. that we are here we are here as i said because yeah. they were talking about this i said look mm -hmm. you saw me the other day okay yeah. i took oath yes mm -hmm. as a commissioner i need to 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 take, to take oath and yeah. then you saw me what i what the book that I, the holy book that I held, mm -hmm. it's the Bible, it's the word of God. Mm -hmm. So I cannot hold that, mm -hmm. and then I go, you know what people say, like, Ebe Takila or something like that. Yeah. Those are God's words. <laughs> Takila. You know, so you yeah. cannot take oath mm -hmm. to do the right thing, yeah. and then you go and do something wrong. Yeah, but it's but not but even, for me as, as I, look, I, for me as a Christian, yeah, but I as a believer that, in God, I, know, but I will not do such, like, I'll nobody, do anything. Nobody yeah. question the integrity of the people in the IEC. Yeah. What people had problem mm -hmm. is, is is the process. Yes. Um, you know, you do text now. If supposedly you have to dis, I mean discard or um, how to call dispose of these documents, mm -hmm. the very fact that somebody got access to it from your office mm -hmm. and it you know and it found itself in the streets, mm -hmm. it suggested your insensitivity to the protection of the sensitive no, documents no, 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 that are in your custody. No, 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 and this can no, 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 you see, this is the problem you know, I have. No, no, no. This is the problem I have with people. They like inference. Yeah. No, they don't I, no, 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 okay. because what you are deducing or inferring, I did logic. I'm trying no, no, I'm just giving you. Okay. Because Joe is a man, mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. All men are bad. Joe is a man, so therefore Joe is bad. No, <laughs> no, I'm just that's, that's that's no, it's, no, yeah, it's, it's like it. Listen, listen, what I'm trying to say. I know I'm language. language. I, say I know language. I'm, I'm, I'm philosophy I'm major. I'm not saying it. No, I'm philosophy no, major. So I know, I know language very well. And I did you give me my I did logic. I did logic as a subject. So I know what I'm trying to tell you. If I did I know deduction. I know inference. But listen now, because what he's saying is insensitive. We are never insensitive. What I'm trying to tell you. No, no, that's what you are saying. You because already is, admitted no, listen. that these things were going because to be Because if we are, for instance, we are voting things and people come and pick it from your office, mm -hmm. whose problem is that? Yeah. Who yeah. is to be blamed? No, what I, mean? I, no, I think no, what no, I, listen, what I listen, see, they, they don't just bring they, they, they are things that are going on in this huh? country. Sometimes yeah. some yeah. people want to discredit the electoral process that's that it has already, that's it hasn't already started. Well, you know, there are issues that we need to cut no, on. The, I want that. you to withdraw that. You don't say anything because the way you are talking, as if we are insensitive to these things. 
Because and Lamin, no, 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 listen, no, listen, no, listen. No, but look at the look at the. Let's take the fact. No, if you listen to me, I'll know. No, listen. I'm even echoing. I'm even echoing. This this, this I mean, document, these documents are null and void. Even the voters are null. It's null. Okay. It's, it's null. No, no, listen. If you listen, I to already, me. I already no, said should be the vote, the, the mood. Listen. But you can't say because of the mood we are insensitive. No, mm -hmm. listen. Can you understand? No, I have been honourable, honourable enough. No, I have been honourable enough to accept that maybe the mood. But you cannot tell me that because of the mood. In which then we are sensitive. No, I'm telling you what I'm telling you is this. I mean, you have to accept the fact that these documents, these documents are sensitive. Anyway, I put things into my mouth. All right, well, that's what the camera people feel. That 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 something like the ID card. No, I'm telling you what the people feel. What what people feel? That that is sensitive. No, I mean, I I think the no one said no one said feeling and facts are this. No, but then I think the issue. You don't put your feelings in there. Let's you talk about you, don't, you no. didn't hear people say you should investigate it. That's a problem. But come so on. That, that's why. That's why they're saying. I'm not doing anything bad. They, no. They but, but they are telling. They have a right to tell you that an institution like such as yours should be sensitive with the documents you have, sensitive. whether they are all or you. I'm not sensitive. Right. Yes, right. we are right. right. people come and pick. What's the problem? Is I, 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 I think people get access to your place and pick these things. How I think. I think they. No, Joe, I mean, you have to do No, sit down, sit down. 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 Sit down, I'm afraid. No, no. No, I think, I think. You don't put words into my mouth. Nobody's putting words into my mouth. But I tell you what the people felt. That is the problem, people's problem. That's right, that's right. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. You. I, I am a citizen of the Gambia. No, nobody's going to go on your off. Joe. We are going on the program. Go ahead. Joe. No, it is me. No, no, no problem. He must be told his problem. We have no problem. He must be told his problem. We are telling you what the people feel. No, you no, can you listen? Running in the cats. Lamin. Yeah, that's the only of this bushman. You see, yeah, no, we are not. No, honestly, we are not here for that. Honestly, right, yeah. yes, address. We are not here for that. Please. I think I, yes. we are here. I'm not telling you much. I no alternative. So I'm telling the fact that I feel. 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 Yeah. You know, they, I think I don't think there is an any issue even to raise it on on those issues yeah. because this card we know that when the registration start, these cards are dead. Yeah. You know why do we keep bringing things that are not necessary? But listen, but listen no, no, said, no, no, I understand no, what you're saying. Said, no, listen, no, listen, no, listen, you know that these cards were used or were meant to be registered people. Mm -hmm. Now even these cards, when they are used or not, they are part of a process. Mm -hmm. Or every document the IEC deals with sensitive, consider it sensitive. Look at what he said. He said even the old forms of attestation, they are going to destroy them. Why? They should be protected, whether they are used or not, and their disbursement should be. How can they... No, no, the no, old I mean, forms, the attestation forms, I said. I you said the old ones, you said they are going no, to be... No, 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 You see, I think... Why should, about why, should it, why should cars get out of IEC that have meant, where they are meant yeah, to be destroyed? And then it's not personal. Like, 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 they are sensitive documents. They are very indiscriminate. We are not here. I mean, we need to accept that there is a bit of a negligence on the part of the IEC. Negligence, why should documents that are like that I are meant for disposal are not disposed in court, 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 Simple mistakes, genuine though, but I mean schoolboy mistakes. It's on. It's now, on. if you are going to say you are going to dispose no. a sensitive material like an ID or a voter's card, you cannot do it in no, your no. premises. No, but, and but find I, 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 th I think we are here. Have no to yeah, but I, I think we are here to make people understand. I'm telling you how the people feel. Yeah, but I think we are here to make people understand. No, 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 yo, 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 please. I think the person who should even say you can connect to an agenda or an interest is the level who is a politician. No, I am not. No, I think I think how the people feel. In fact, in fact, we, in fact. 
We uh, wanted to use this phone uh, yes, to help people understand. To help people exactly. understand. Yeah. To make no, because no, if no, it no, may, no, excuse no, me, Joe, excuse me, Joe, if it may, mm -hmm. until today I cannot understand much about this, um, how to call, the, uh, this voter's card, mm -hmm. whether they were empty, whether they were, they were blank. blank. No, listen to him, listen to him, listen to him. Yeah. Yeah. Or so, they... So, okay, bye-bye for now. You see? Yeah. Go ahead. For, 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 for me, I, I definitely needed a lot of information on these cards. Well, they have said, they said these cards have been from an old stock and they yes. are no longer going to come into uh, being. They have, been, they have been destroyed. But look. I could, I could have loved Joe visited that or any of the IEC officials. Well. Because a blank card, yes. mm -hmm. if it is a blank card, it is capable of being developed to anything. Anything. Anybody can pull up a photo there. Anybody can pull up. Yeah, because yeah, we, 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 no, that you know, we, to understand. You know, we have to understand no, technology. Technology no, can, no, we are living to, in an era of technology. Exactly. We understand all that. You have to be fair with them when they say it. it's not yeah. going to be in the database. Yes. Or yes. Even yes. if you have it. Yes. Even if you have it, it is not in their database. That is correct. That's correct. I they agree. are going to bring another feature. Yes. Which will be different from these ones. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. But the fundamental thing that people have to tell them which Joe refused to accept. How they is move the from the that office. when you run an institution like the IEC, that's true. You are in charge of sensitive documents. Definitely. You understand me? Definitely. Every process of those processing those documents, whether you are going to destroy them, whether you are going to reframe them, those processes should be protected to, to everybody's satisfaction. How can you tell me that I am disposing ID cards and they found themselves in the street? And you said that's not negligent. That can be anything. How sensitive elections in this very election sensitive, here? Very sensitive. You said all ID cards found blank ones in the street is, is ordinary. I think it is not ordinary, man. Yes, I, I, the, you see, I, I think the, 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 the it's, point it's is that. It's yeah. negligence. Yeah, the, the, obviously negligence. The, the point is that we need to, um, of course, is high stake elections. Yeah. We we know that is if you is, go is to the immigration stake. department mm -hmm. right now, mm -hmm. you see data of ID cards thrown about. How mm -hmm. would you feel? Passports office. How mm -hmm. would you feel? Anybody can go and enter his name in a Gambian passport and go. But you know, you know, like the 2011. Th this is why I said like um, people are raising issues where it is not as important as we making it to be. I understand from your point that you are trying to say. Mm -hmm. But 2006, we had the paper cut. Mm -hmm. You know, it was laminated. You just do that and it was laminated. Mm -hmm. What is happening to those papers? Mm -hmm. They are no longer, they are obsolete. They are no longer in use. Okay. So if these cards are not printed, because you talk about database, because every card before they are valid, they you must say, be in the database. That's very clear. Everybody, yes. everybody so, so you cannot, and, and the good thing is that there is a register. There is a register that is there. And this, even this register that we are talking, this is my point. Yeah. The, even this register that we are talking about is no longer valid yeah. because a new one will be generated. Yeah. Even us that have the old voters card, whether it was legit or not, it, everything is, is not. Absolute. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. In moving forward yeah. what we need to do no, is but to don't be you, don't <clears throat> you appreciate the pack as many people have told us that the ice is negligent in allowing these documents to find them i the think state. i think saying negligent is because like it's going to, if anything is going to erode confidence people i mean that's why i say wonder. that's why i said sometimes people, people be, tend to discredit be, a process no, before it's even people started. will begin to wonder mm -hmm. how sensitive is the iec in handling this process yeah yeah now if you can allow absolute paper, you call them absolute or outdated expired papers to go into the streets, who can guarantee that even valid papers will not find themselves in the streets? Yeah, in fact, yeah, 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 in fact, in fact that's what I'm telling them. I mean, are, these are, you know, when you bring public yes, opinion and these are valid issues, yes, I think yes, it should be treated I, the I, way it should be treated. I think, I think you have not warrant, huh? I mean, withdrawing yourself because... No, 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 no. And, then, and, then, and then honestly, you, you, um, uh, with, the, with the certain, um, uh, with the little history yes. that happened, with the IEC, uh, with the IEC, uh, they should School definitely avoid mistakes. avoid mistakes. avoid certain things. If it, if in where they are going to you know how to call dispose them, exactly, they should do it professionally, professionally. so that people will not have access to those ones. Exactly, because that because actually tells you exactly. people are going inside the IEC in and out the way they want. See, which should make, uh, uh, that means and, 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 and that institution is very sensitive. It's very Definitely sensitive. is really sensitive. Every document is sensitive. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, that's true. So with that's their history, true. with with their with, with their some uh, just those history people have lived. Of giving, very, you know, but people have lived to president to, 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 to very, very presidential election. Mm -hmm. I think you they understand? should be they should be a little bit mindful. Election. Maybe you can see the gentleman. After yeah. that, what happened to the council elections? 
They gave more seats to GDC than they got. Those people recognize that this is a mistake. If, otherwise, they can make a program and cling on to it. So many, many, many schoolboys mm. errors. Mm -hmm. And things like the sensitive documents, like whether they are absolute or they are valid, it reflects on the IC's you know, integrity to protect this process up to everybody's satisfaction. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. if they find themselves in the yeah. state and you mm -hmm. say nobody should question that, where yeah, are you coming from? Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's a it's a high stake elections and it's sensitive, and I think this all issues must be brought forward so that people can definitely, discuss that definitely. and discuss it amicably. Right. I think, Let's go to yeah. the, the Afro barometer. I mean, you had your recent survey which tells Gambians that, uh, among other things, mm -hmm. people's reception of the COVID vaccine um, is very low. Yeah. And some people even don't believe that the, the vaccines are the solution, but even prayers. I mean, to prevent <laughs> or to avoid, um, I mean, the plague, so to speak, mm -hmm. is even more effective than, uh, the, the, than the vaccine. Don't go on the rebel. This is interesting. No, no, no. It's good have, for them. Have, even. have you ever, have you, have you even have yours already? No, no, no he, he, he has I, I don't, I before. don't take the vaccine yet. <laughs> <laughs> Let's tell, take us through the, the Yeah, I mean, um, we, we conducted the survey. Um, this is the second round that mm -hmm. we've done in this country. Um, we just released the, 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 the one on COVID, mm -hmm. uh, because right now, as you see, we are, the Ministry of Health has um, started this vaccination. So um, uh, for us, when we started the Afrobarometer, we were a bit delayed because of COVID. Mm -hmm. So when the COVID came, we decided to ask um, people's perception with that. Um, so in terms of the, we, we, we first asked questions around the impact of the COVID, the relief assistance, whether they've relief, received relief assistance. Mm -hmm and attitude toward vaccines and also the the prayer i've seen a lot of people discussing oh maybe the way we position the questions or not mm -hmm. um because sometimes in this country in this continent it's not only gambia but africans tra tradition you know generally um subscribe to this idea of prayer and all those things so we wanted to see uh, and given the the attention that was given to um you know to this social distancing and lockdown and even the debate that it was that generated with the mocks so we wanted to ask people uh, with regards to that and we even asked about the lockdown restriction looking ahead but in terms of the impact um we realized that only two in hundred citizens say that they have um been um you know they have uh, the covid 19 two out of uh, 100 gambians mm -hmm. but also we realized that four in 10 gambians 42 percent of the population say they lost income because of the covid 19 in terms of the impact mm -hmm. so so um and and i think this also speaks to some initial discussions or publications that were made one by the undp saying that the 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 most um i mean the the greatest impact of the covid will be on the social economic and then we have seen it in terms of the economic where people lose income largely due to to lockdown and in terms of covid um, relief assistant we see eight in ten gambians 79 percent say they owe their households receive a government assistance during the pandemic eight eight About in ten. yes in, in you know in every ten eight people say they've received okay. even so, myself so that, that i'm means, so that means the, the the government has done very well yes they've it's, done it's, they've done very well very in well. distributing and even myself i receive i, I receive a bag of rice okay. so i must i must say so a okay. quiet number of people say yeah. they've received but then we ask yeah. in terms of the fairness yeah. of the distribution yeah. uh, but you know about 53 percent believe that the benefits of government program to support people during the covid 19 was not fairly distributed that wow. even though most people receive yeah. but then a, uh, a, a slight majority believe that um the distribution wasn't fairly that distributed means, so i think that requires more than the yes other. maybe perhaps some receive more, more than they should have or some receive uh, some only receive bag of rice others have received only but, but i think the show was based on the, the number of people in their household well i i perhaps maybe um that's why like for us the survey just shows you points you to what people are saying mm -hmm. and it requires maybe further um investigation to to really understand what was the real case perhaps is that some people did not receive um onions mm -hmm. did not receive because we've seen the display of onions rice sugar mm -hmm. and all that if you receive only rice mm -hmm. and then you've seen um, sugar and all that you might say well it's not fair because i've not received mm -hmm. um in that but then the other question was the attitude towards vaccine we say only two in 10 mm -hmm. say they are likely to try to get vaccinated if vaccine becomes available Oh. Um, and the government says it is safe because we did this survey in um, January, uh, February. January, February. Yeah. So by then the vaccination program did not start. But then um, that's why we asked if available. Um, so uh, only two say that. And during the 
presentation, yeah. um, um, the, the director of health service um, sp um, spoke about these realities, saying that this is the, some of the challenges that they are facing. Um, right now, they had just yesterday. I think I saw the paper saying that they only had eighteen thousand people vaccinated, yeah, exactly. while they have about fifty thousand vote um, um you know doses that need to be need to be yeah. um you know given and so it's important that people um try to get vaccinated because you know we've done um, polio vaccination so many form of vaccinations have been done and we've seen how helpful that is so and then the other was that um about seven in ten citizens 69 yeah. percent um say prayer is more effective than a vaccine would be in preventing COVID nineteen infection. yeah it's it's, it's it's very interesting yeah. and um and i think usually That's people are reflect at our religious um mm -hmm. influence let's say that how religion influence mm -hmm. you know most gambians uh, rather than actually realities mm -hmm. you want to say yeah, because of course, re okay, religion may teach realities, but then mm -hmm. of course, uh, people there are people who say that well, it's only God can, that can make you yeah. sick. Yeah. So if if you pray to God and you are prevented from a plague, mm -hmm. there you don't you don't need any more vaccine. But then this, I mean, know, like you can get the vaccine. We all belong to religion, so we have to be realistic that we need to help ourselves. <laughs> yeah, you get the vaccine and then pray so that the vaccine can work. If you oh. so believe in prayer, that can do. <laughs> so at least both can at least protect you. But then what, um, what I would, think... What would you have done, Honorable Jalko? <laughs> pray first, the vaccine or... Uh, well, <laughs> so first let me thank... Uh, Afro-Barometer. Afro-Barometer. And then my colleague, uh, Mr. Jao. Uh, COVID-19... According to, I go to, through their report, when it comes to the fairly distribution, mm -hmm. sometimes, you know, you go to families, mm -hmm. you ask them to, to register. If you don't tell them the reason why you are registered, oh. some of the family, you know, they have large family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. might feel ashamed, oh. me being a man, having 10 or 15 children, mm -hmm. you just come to me and ask me, okay, I want to know the number. You see, that, 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 uh, that form of shame mm -hmm. is there. They will not even give you the exact amount mm. of uh, kit they have. Not they really. rather redu reduce it. If, if for for me, it's if, later I realize if, it. When I travel to my constituency... Even if you tell them that you're yeah, about to have rights and things. Exactly. <laughs> when I went to my constituency, I knew some families, yeah. some men, because I know, I live there. I know, I know. Uh, how like their family. Yeah. So then I understand Maybe they were not informed. Yeah, this is the type of aid mm -hmm. is coming. coming. Okay. okay. And then according to the aid, like each head will get five kilos mm -hmm. of, of sugar mm -hmm. or each, each head will get one kilo of rice. Mm -hmm. They just ask the information mm -hmm. without telling them the reason why they are collecting that the data. Yeah, the data. Mm -hmm. So m most people actually downsize their family. It's later, when the distribution started, some of them started to regret why I did not register my whole family. Ah, yes. <laughs> that, that, that's part of it. I knew that part of it. That's what I'm surprised about. If they yeah. likely know what they would No, rather, they don't know. They would rather inflate the No. Mm -hmm. They were not informed earlier on ah. the taking, uh, collecting the data. Yeah. It is for this And purpose. then naturally we know in our tradition, people, yes. some people still take it taboo to count. Yeah, exactly to count, to count families. Uh, and that's associated uh, with... And that, uh, and that, that is part of it. Ideas, mm -hmm. And when it comes to the co co come to the injection, taking of the That's injection, yes. I think a lot of work needs to be done. Mm -hmm. Because worldwide, mm -hmm. others are campaigning against it. Mm -hmm. Other, others yeah. are supporting the campaign. Okay. And then it's the, it's, the, it's the intellectual themselves. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you now, no information is hiding. Mm. Yeah. The, uh, the little information you have from in your mobile, they put it in videos. You put it in one um, uh, forum to another forum. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then a situation like the COVID-19, where you know that people don't even tend to believe it yeah. to that extent. Mm -hmm. If somebody is down there discouraging you, 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 you will definitely listen to the individual. And then that's what is happening with the injection. Mm -hmm. Because first of all, yeah. people, especially in the rural Gambia, mm -hmm. 
they don't even believe COVID-19 is existing. In the first place. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. If you want to uh, injection, inject them because of COVID-19, yeah. they will tell you, anyway, me, I don't have COVID-19. Oh, I don't even believe in COVID-19. Yeah. Especially after hearing from, well, like, uh, said, from even, other even intellectuals, intellectuals you know, countries. trying to put, yeah, them, put in a lot of confusion. The, in, the interesting thing also, in terms of the data, we also segregated by demographic. Mm. And, and, ah, and okay. usually... Uh, people will say it might be the people that are not educated that are likely to, oh. to believe in that. Oh. But even if you look at that, yeah. um, you know, in terms of people with no formal education, even though they are higher, here we say um, about 77% of them believe that prayer is more effective in terms of people with no formal educated. Yeah, no, no formal oh, education. No formal people education. with no formal education. Ah, okay, now. Uh, and formal education, we're talking about going to perhaps um, the Western um, yeah, okay. um, mm -hmm. system. So 77% right. say, um, you know, prayer is more effective. And 80% of them yeah. saying that they are, they are likely not to take the vaccine. Take the vaccine. And then you look at even the um, those with post-secondary education, even mm -hmm. though, I mean, majority of them, um, uh, almost more than half of them, 51%, um, think that prayer is more effective. People with post-secondary education, wow. people like yeah. myself, you, myself um, or you yourself. Know, so we're saying that prayer is more effective. <laughs> and then you have more than fifty. Uh, you, you you have um, about sixty-five percent of those saying that they are not. They are likely not to take the take the vaccine. Wow, wow. So this might be as he's explaining cultural and well, all that. Really but for us, yes, religion. Yeah. But for us, we cannot explain that. So what yeah. we need to do is just to ask the figures, and then we present that perhaps subsequent um, studies or perhaps even anthropologists might be interested in understanding why so what, you know. what, what can you what can what do you think can change people's perception of this because according to the health authorities this uh, this uh, low acceptance is going to reflect on the country's openness um, mm -hmm. the lower the, your rate of vaccination the longer you stay among the countries that are considered red zones red zone, mm -hmm. yeah so I, I think i think the people need to understand that uh, the higher our vaccination rate the more likely we are going to open up yeah, and, and I, I think there's there's an opportunity and I, I want to highlight that in terms yeah. of what people think about what okay. government say right, because yeah. I think it also do with trust okay. um, trust has to be there so we ask people about in terms of the way government has been managing the um, the COVID almost 60 percent um, 60 percent of the population say um, you know the, the government is doing fairly well or very well that's a six in every ten so there's a significant um, majority mm -hmm. and then we ask them in terms of how is government doing in keeping the public informed about the COVID-19, 75% say the government is doing fairly well and very well ah, in, with, with, with that regard. Right. But then we ask them in terms of the fact that whether they trust um, the official COVID-19 statistics, mm -hmm. equal number 75% do not trust that. Do not trust the statistics that have been. Do they think it's been underreported? Or? We, we're not. We're not we're sure because we just sure. ask about that, and I think that's why we say further studies need to do that. No, maybe, least, maybe in this case, if where they don't even, uh, uh, I mean, believe it's trust. Yeah. So that maybe they, they don't even. They believe the figures are inflated. In, in inflated, perhaps. Well, but well, then, in, in terms well, of the survey, people yeah. ask us that two. You know, at least we say that two in every hundred, about uh, two percent of the population, yeah. say that they've they've experienced it or a family member. Mm. But then, but the other issue is that some people feel like. Like the level of COVID-19 corruption is also very high, like 68 percent. And I think in Parliament, you know, the minister made those kind of um, mm -hmm. um, um, you mean, statement. You, mean people who you know that the the COVID-19 funds have been mm -hmm. you know lost due to um, corruption. Mm -hmm. But in terms of the vaccine, and this is this is where it is interesting. Um, yeah. In terms of trust government to make sure COVID-19 vaccine is safe, 74 yeah. percent say they just trust the government just a little or not at all. In that in that in that in sense that so it might not necessarily be the go the, the vaccine, vaccine but perhaps the the, the level of trust but in the, the people in the, who are telling them take it yes the people <laughs> well, that are telling well, them take it problem. and yeah. then maybe, and then maybe, that's why they say 78 percent say they are likely not to to take that maybe so, i will ask uh, we, maybe it should be suggested to the minister to include uh, some imams and some uh, scholars exactly. among the people who are going to sensitize the people exactly. because like you said if the messenger is not trusted no matter how good his message is, he yeah, not yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I think those are the issues that, um, you know, bringing in, um, you know, religious leaders, because traditional leaders yeah, and religious trust. leaders are highly trusted. Are highly trusted, trusted. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so sometimes, like, in the way we communicate, but I, I haven't important. seen Imam. Did you see pastors uh, taking it in public and making public noise about it? Have you seen it? I have not seen, I but I think, I, yeah. not seen. I think that will help, like the politicians, like President Barrow and his yes, cabinet yes. members did. Yes. If we get to imams, you know, convince them to take them and they mm -hmm. publicize that perhaps 
uh, that will change the perspective, perception of yeah. many people. Mm -hmm. And but I want to, I want food, to add food one. Food for thought for yeah. the Ministry okay. of yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to add one aspect also in terms of restrict freedoms and democracy during pandemics. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we saw the, the, the Nyamina West, was it Nyamina West? Yeah. By, uh, by election, you know, it was postponed due to the um, yeah. COVID-19. Yeah. And two thirds, 63% um, um, agree or strongly agree that during a health emergency like the COVID pandemic, it is justified mm -hmm. for the government to use the police or armed forces to enforce public health measures. People okay. agree that the lockdowns were necessary, necessary, even though they felt it was also very difficult very for them, difficult, but yeah. they agree that this was necessary yeah. because at least it protected yeah, them. Protect many people. Uh, but also we're saying that, but as similar proportions do not think it is justified to postpone elections or limit political campaigning mm -hmm. or even censor the media reporting oh. on those issues. And then we also see that, and I think maybe Honorable would be able to, you know, because people also, 63% of citizens are also worried that Gambian politicians might use the pandemic as an opportunity to increase their power and authority. So there's a lot of um, issues that are embedded within this that has to do with issues of trust, the issues of um, accountability mm -hmm. that needs to be out there for people to understand that before some of these issues like vaccines okay. and other measures could be taken. But they generally... Um, in terms of the rating of government is very high, mm -hmm. but also the trust level in terms of their uh, assistance and all that. But in terms of the trust, uh, I think we need to work on those things. Um, and I don't think it's only government that can do that. Can do that. Um, people just, need to continue to... to just how many people were questioned? So, we, so, so in terms of our methodology, we um, interviewed 1,200 Gambians. Okay. And um, usually people will attack us for, for the methodology. Mm. But then we... Like you talked to too, too small a number. Of yeah, yeah, too small a number. But what we are doing is like we do sampling. Uh, okay. we, um, we work based on um, the available data. And we sometimes work with Gambia Bureau of Statistics. Mm. We use their EA maps. We use their... Um, they also help us with the sampling. Um, so in that, what we're trying to do as a as perception survey is just to see generally how people uh, are, are thinking, what their opinion. But then that's why we say also that perceptions do change. Um, and, and, and as we release yeah. the subsequent um, um, other topics, then we'll be able to compare. Because COVID is specific, um, it is just now, but we have done the 2018, so we'll be able to compare yeah. what people were saying in 2018 and what people are saying now. now. So we, we interviewed 1,200 adult yeah. citizens, yeah. And, and we believe that this yields a result of 95% confidence level. Okay. And, um, and, and, and so most of the people that we interview are adults, 18 and above. Okay. And the way we do the sampling is always random. Yeah. Um, for me, I have no business in who's gonna, whose household is going to be selected, or yeah. even when we get to the household, yeah. uh, like he was saying, we list the number of people yeah, um, that are in the house if we were to interview, because in terms of our interview, we do alternative, mm. one male, because we want gender to be, to be yeah. equal. Yeah. Um, so when we come, and if the uh, enumerator is to interview a male, he will enter all the male in that household and then the computer will uh, the tablet will select mm -hmm. automatically select one individual and if it's select lamin mm -hmm. uh, even if you are the you are just turning 18 and you are part of the household okay. we will interview you okay. if he's the head of the household we will not interview him because we we've selected you in terms of that randomness and and so sometimes um why we say uh, this kind of um, process is is very scientific uh, but what we are doing is also testing uh, we are testing what people are saying. Come guy talk about direct ngajumboko. That's the example that I like to give. When you want to test, you don't eat everything. Yeah, you, you just, um, just pick and then to know whether yeah. it is sabna wala yes. So at least this will help us to understand what people are thinking. But yeah. if you want to know further, yeah. we need to get in there to, to, and to finally, get that. Who, who um, is this information fed to? Because apparently policymakers, um, you know, and people who are officials who are directly dealing mm -hmm. with these things are, are the people you definitely need targets to get them you, uh, yeah how so, widely spread is this report well we've shared we've invited the them media. they came uh -huh. they came during the because uh, you know they're very good partners um yeah. and i think generally people accept the fact that mm -hmm. we do not have a lot of opinion pulling okay. and if you remember in in 2014 i was arrested for trying to <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> trying to do that but today you know everybody appreciate, oh, appreciate that the fact that we need to understand the way that people are thinking and for us afrobarometer what we're trying to do is to give the public a voice mm -hmm. in 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 the policy making you know, for him as a politician, um, as a representative in the National Assembly, if he's there and he doesn't have, uh, you know, they cannot go and collect the data. So what we're trying to do is to collect the data, to ask the people so that we can help them 
you know, in their debates, in terms of the decisions that they're making so that they can make it. But also for civil society, for the sure. media, yeah. you know, to, to keep telling political leaders. Because at the end of the day, for us, we just collect the data and then pass okay. it, yeah. but they are the ones that use it. That's why we say we have no barometer for us. Our job is to just give the people a chance. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, it is the policy makers that are working for the people that need to um, use the data effectively to address the mm -hmm. problems that the people are facing. And we have released in the previous, we have released a um, lot of um, dispatches where we widely share mm -hmm. so that people can understand. And, and, and like as a perception survey, so it also um, changes. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, and this uh, time, you know, we'll be able to compare a lot of other issues like the last time. And that will be very interesting. So this one is interesting but subsequently i think the others would mostly also be you go into socio and uh, other things to survey do you sometimes survey hot things like political uh, i think last time you have one yeah, yeah we it, yeah. afro parameter has like 100 plus questions yeah, sometimes yeah. like the, i know people that have been interviewed they complain a lot yeah. because it can take almost one hour yeah. talking to people we have we have um, questions around democracy yeah. governance trust accountability even gender relations um now this this year we added new things in, mm -hmm. including international relations we added um in terms of what sort of a system because we need to also understand the behavior of our society and and, and part of that we ask some behavioral questions and and those things are also uh, very important and we go all over the country sometimes um our in the monitors uh, last time they went even across the border because the EAs we use the maps that are provided by GBOS so they go as, outside so people um as long as you're in this country you're Gambian you have equal chance of being selected and so we've been doing that so yeah Fantastic. What are your impressions on Rebel? Uh, well, uh, I'm, 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 I'm definitely, I'm definitely I'm impressed because the moment they have it, they send it to me. And then, uh, you see, if you want to, in every government, mm -hmm. you need data, okay. you need information Absolutely. to develop policies. Mm -hmm. And then I can see a lot of things here mm -hmm. that, okay, if government looked at uh, the report, mm -hmm they can improve themselves yeah, when yeah. it comes to COVID-19. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Especially because he already informed us 10 out of every game, uh, 8 out right. of every 10, Seven out tell of us, 10. told us that they receive. Yes, they receive. They receive the food, yes. yeah. That's yeah, but point. others are saying. Mm -hmm. It was not unfair. It was it not fair. It it, yeah, it now look at, it's a very good information. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Now the giver there, or the government, mm -hmm. should, if they look at this uh, document, yeah. and then look at, okay, uh, on, on this paragraph, mm -hmm. hey, then why? Why 8 out of 10 yeah. is received, but still, it yeah. is unfair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And have, then that could have work them. around. Yeah, that, uh, definitely yeah. that could help the government Absolutely. to improve more mm -hmm. when it comes to COVID-19. Yeah. And, even and we are with COVID-19 so still now. now. We don't know how how long yeah. we're okay. going to stay with COVID-19. Well, really so important. we need a lot of information, yeah. definitely to, 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 to manage COVID-19. COVID and then I, I believe is the exact thing yeah. that our Afro barometer did. And then, you know, he talked about uh, we invited the NDMA and they even, you know, we're talking about the importance of this in terms of, the, I think, the, uh, a second right. round or another round, another round of, of distribution. Relief age, and wow. I think this will help them to, to, to you know, to no, distribute to, to, issues yeah. fairly. More, and more equitably. More, more equitably. More equitably. As, more equitably. As, uh, yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. Thank you very much, Sadmati Jao, a member of the Afro Barometer for that survey. And uh, the Honorable Samba Jalo. For his time, he is the minority leader in the National Assembly. He is also um, Nyamina West, I believe. Dankunku. 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 National Assembly member for the NRP. I, 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 I have reserved uh, <laughs> uh, my, my, my arrows for NRP's uh, uh, alleged... Uh, well, well, he said it's not alleged now. It's very close, close to the NPP. I, I, I told them, yeah. Oh, well, no, I, mean, I, I reserved that for the... <laughs> For okay, but I, I don't know. I don't want another stormy. <laughs> no, he, he, one thing he's not no. scared of the politics. But that's, one, that's one thing. Like, so we always debate and all those things. I know. He's and very approachable. Yes, he's so. Well, and before him, the honourable Joe Colley, He is the vice chairman of the electoral commission. I hope we will have him in a list less stormy yeah. session next week. <laughs> but thank you very much for following our show. We'll be back next week, inshallah, with another brunch. Until then, goodbye.
communication, connectivity is everything. We ensure that the links never sleep. Quantities and qualities all in our data service, providing efficient, reliable voice and data service. We believe if you're not up to speed, then you're going backwards. Communications have to flow as fast as the speed of light. Whatever business you're in, having someone who understands your needs is critical. That is why we just don't offer you technology, we offer you solutions. Enjoy Gumsol's internet broadband anytime, anywhere. Your national operator. Gamsel, yeah, Barom. For all your pastry, bakery, and quality food, CK Restaurant is the only place to be. We do catering for birthdays, weddings, and all related services. We have all kinds of local foods, American, European, and even beyond. Come and have a taste of our local juice Ebe and other services. At CK Restaurant, customer satisfaction is our priority. We live in a day and age where technology is creating a world without borders, filled with unlimited potential to improve the lives of the people around us. InnovaRex Global Health ushers in a new way of leveling the playing field with increased access to quality healthcare services delivered at your doorstep. Our qualified professionals are equipped with state-of-the-art point-of-care testing technology to conduct tests such as kidney function, liver function, electrolyte tests, body composition, hemoglobin, A1C, and many more services with the highest efficiency in delivering results. The addition to our flagship, Wellness on Wheels, more fondly known as WOW Delivery Service, brings the entire clinical experience full circle. IGH has remained committed to creating the future of healthcare delivery. Gone are the days of sending loved ones outside the country for basic medical services. Innovarex Global Health offers a new peace of mind and takes pride in delivering the quality of care we all deserve.